Um, too little tongue weight, too much tongue weight, you know, equals issues. And, and I, I personally can attest this. Um, that's, a di that's a different story for a different day. Maybe we'll have to tell that. Um, but I have had this experience where too little or too much tongue weight um, almost led to an accident. Welcome to the Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you the story of when I was towing a trailer with a large piece of equipment on it, and I almost wrecked. So recently I was doing my review on the Waste Safe Hitch, and I was reminded of a time early in my landscape career of when I uh, was not an accident, or was nearly in an accident. Uh, you, you can determine that, I guess. Um, but um, working, working landscaping, working around trucks and trailers and equipment, and was asked by my employer to haul a trailer. So I did that. Um, loaded up a mini excavator onto a 14,000 pound trailer on the back of a truck and loaded it up, chained it down, everything that I'd been taught um, as kind of a, a laborer, and loaded it up and headed out. We had a job about an hour away and um, went, you know, drove, drove around on the main roads, everything that I needed to do, uh, and then merged on the freeway. And I actually merged on the wrong on-ramp. So I was headed north instead of headed south. So I was uh, frustrated already. I was trying to, to make my boss happy and do everything that I could, uh, do everything right. Merge on the freeway, um, and this was when I was younger in my career. So I merged on, and and got up to speed. I, I didn't think about speed as much back then, and I was of the mentality, unfortunately, that, hey, speed limit 65, so I'm gonna go 65, 70, no big deal. Trailer or not, doesn't matter. So I'm, I went right up to that speed, and I'm cooking along, and then all of a sudden, I started to sway. I started to sway worse, and it, it was going, the whole truck and trailer was going back and forth, and I was scared. I was puckering hardcore, and the trailer was literally sw swerving. I was in the right-hand lane, if I remember correctly, but it was swerving at least halfway into the lane next to me, if not all the way over, and just back and forth. As I looked at the tracks after after I pulled to the side of the road, the tracks, this, this, you know, there was three or four just massive skids where this trailer was just going. So, for some for some reason, I was able to, to gain control to pull us to the side of the road. Um, what had happened here, I actually blew the tires. I blew at least one tire, if not two tires, uh, because of how much weight was going side to side so hard on the tires. And, and it blew one or two tires. But I was able to slow the truck down. I didn't hit the brakes, because if I hit the brakes, it would have been bad news. But I was able to slow the truck down and pull the side of the road. Um, and I also had a cop right after this to come, come and talk to me. but. Uh, so the reason you don't want to hit the brakes is, I, I can't remember if I was, it was tongue heavy or tongue light, but regardless, if you're tongue heavy, the front of the truck's really light, and so you don't have a lot of steering. And when you hit the brakes, you're not really hitting your front brakes, you're hitting your rear brakes, and because you don't have any steering, you don't have any control, and it will cause the trailer to keep coming forward as your truck's trying to slow down, and it will cause the trailer to push the truck and push the nose to the left or the right. So it actually caused more issues. We got the sun coming up over here. It's getting super bright. I wonder if you can see that on camera. So, so if, you, if your tongue heavy, your front of your truck's really light, and you don't have a lot of steering control, and if your tongue um, light, the trailer's lifting the rear of the truck up, and so also if you try to hit the brakes, the front brakes are going to work. But the, uh, the again, so your your nose will be planted, but the trailer will push the rear out. So it's, it's bad news either way with your brakes. So I, I just let off the brakes slowly, slowed down as best I could, and also by, by letting off the gas slowly and, and not hitting the brakes, it allows the trailer to kind of straighten out. Um, so by whatever act of God, I was able to get this on the side of the road uh, in super quick time. I don't even know how this officer was able to get here. I had an officer pull me over, if you will, they're right behind me pull me over and he, he informs me, hey, I was coming down the opposite direction on the interstate and I saw you 
swerving back and forth. He's like, I totally expected to come here upon an accident. He's like, I don't know how you're still wheels down, but you know, basically he was there to write me a ticket. And I was like, oh crap. Like, um, I just wrecked my boss's stuff, the trailer, it's got a big old flat. And I, you know, I'm worried about what my boss is gonna do. Um, so I ended up calling my boss. I said, hey, this happened. I've got an officer here. He's trying to write me a ticket. He said that I did X and X wrong. Like, like I, I, you know, I was worried. And I was worried about what my boss might do, the implications there. I was worried about what the officer might do. Again, I was really young in my career, not as confident as I am nowadays. And my boss basically said, I'll be right there. Uh, it took him a while to get there. He was probably 20, 30 minutes away. So he came there and he talked to the officer and kind of gave the officer some confidence. Hey, I'm sorry, my employee loaded this, this trailer wrong. It's too heavy or too light, whatever it was. Um, I'll, I'll basically get after him and, and help him out and make sure this doesn't happen again. The officer was okay with that information and let it go and was able to move forward. So ended up, I, my boss came and helped me. We changed the trailer tire and we, um, we ended up having to offload the equipment because we couldn't jack it up because of the way the machine. So we, we took the trailer off or the equipment off the trailer, fixed the tire, put the equipment back on, loaded it right. And at that time, I think my supervisor maybe had come to the rescue and I think he had come down to pick up the truck and trailer and take it to the job site. They kind of just took, took the keys, if you will, away from me for that, that situation and, um, and did it. So what did I learn here? Um, I learned to go slower. I learned to be more careful when driving trucks and trailers and heavy loads. Um, this was a pivotal experience for me that I chose to learn from. Um, many experiences in life, you have that opportunity to, um, to learn from them, and I chose to learn from this. So I chose to learn not to, not to uh, go too fast. Also, I learned to be conscientious of my tongue weight, um, which really is crucial. It really is important. Um, if you're a little bit over, a little bit under, it's not a big deal, but the more Telling what you have, or the the too rear heavy the trailer is, those can be bad. So hopefully you learned from my experience here, and you can take that and help you out. Um, like I said, I just did a review on the the weigh safe hitch, uh, which will allow me to weigh my tongue weight, which is one thing I didn't have back then. I didn't have the ability to weigh my tongue weight. I had no clue what it was weighing, and, and you know my my boss always just said, oh yeah, I just. Mm -mm. Look at look at the suspension and see how much it sags and then you're good to go. So it's, it's just an eyeball thing and um, Using the way safe hitch is gonna help me out with that as well. So hope you enjoyed this story um, It's really hard for me sometimes to share my fails in life um, But I hope people can learn from that and that's why I share so thrifty garage video and we'll see you on the next one